Hey, Abigail. Oh yeah, it's gonna get Just to let you know I'm into you Intellectual, but don't mind Or even like when I would move closer It's like there's still people in the way I can't see what his feet are doing And y'all know I, I be tripping over my feet The poor girl was so tired though That she made the plane late Can you look from the back? And apparently you can't do a tour if you're and you under know what the, 18 you know what they said? the previous vlog before you'll see clips in 1000 feet slight right onto the um, i-110 north ramp you'll see clips of me going out with my cousin to celebrate her birthday we had so much fun it wasn't that i even drank a lot because i didn't drink a lot last night um still really not trying to drink often slight but right onto the i-110 north when we got back um you know we we're just up chit chatting talking shooting the shit till like 5 a.m so yeah i haven't really like pulled one of those kind of all-nighter type of things in a hot minute oh so my old ass is feeling super sluggish today um but i'm finally headed home it's such a beautiful day today if, like these are the days you're like glad you live in southern california because it just feels so nice today and it's not like too cold, but it's not too hot. There's a nice breeze. It's just gorgeous. So I'm glad to be back. I am uh, looking forward to this week's classes. Right now I only am signed up for um, Cece's Valentine's Day class. So I'm excited because this is her first chair routine and her routines are always fire. So I'm looking forward to this chair routine. I don't know what other classes I'm gonna take yet this week. I'm kind of just kind of playing it by ear. My main thing is I just want to go home, get unpacked, get everything settled in, and like, you know, get back to the program, to the regular program. Um, I have some videos I need to edit from the classes up north in Napa and Sonoma. So I need to get those done, and yeah, a lot of work to do. So. We back, baby. Back on the grind. <laughs> Let me know what things you guys want to see this week or any questions you have. Let me know. guys <laughs> I don't know why I said it like that I just finished um Cece's class oh my gosh it's her Valentine's Day class so cute um we did drip by a shin and yeah it was like a whole freaking vibe it was a chair routine so it was mad cute it was a little fast <laughs> a little fast but not you know not anything that you can't do y'all already know i love taking cc's class because she just brings out such positive vibes every single time um her movement style it just fits with me and my movement style so well um and yeah i just love her as a person she's so sweet so genuine and um the girls that take her class are also very nice, very uh, friendly, very welcoming, show so much love and support. So I always feel like supported in her class. So I love her class. Take her class if you have not already. Move in touch. CC. yes, take her class. For my performance, I 
chose to work as, in terms of like my freestyle I chose to kind of like try to slow it down <laughs> is kind of hard because like when I get in front of the camera I get nervous and excited and then when it comes time to freestyle I want to like do all the things um, but one thing I am working on is trying to slow down my mind trying to hear the music and like make my movements match the music so that was like the goal plus we don't get like forever to freestyle <laughs> in these classes because they're so big so it's like you have to make your moments count and if you're gonna do something it's like you gotta even if you go slow it's like just milk that and feel that like that has to be a connection West Alameda <clears throat> so yeah I felt like I could have did a little bit more I also um I'm trying to work on like my performance and like pulling more out and I I will say that that is like the hardest part for me because how do I say that um because I feel like I'm doing a lot and then when I look back on the footage it just feels like it's not enough <laughs> you know what I mean so I'm trying to find that like balance Turn right onto the I five South ramp. I'm trying to find that balance of like doing enough to feel the performance and also not feel like I'm not being myself if that makes sense you know because what sometimes when you do a lot you start to just get crazy and then you're no longer like connected with your freestyle or your performance and all that so yeah I'm working on it but I will say overall I feel proud of myself um, <clears throat> today <laughs> was a struggle like getting ready trying to find something to wear I'm like uh like I want to be sexy but I didn't want to be like too sexy like skin and it, like I was for my own Valentine's Day dance you know like as much as I love that vibe of like embracing your body showing your body and all of that stuff sometimes I really just want to wear clothes <laughs> you know so I wanted something that was like still sexy but yet covered so that's why I went with this outfit and then blue you know it just was like I love red. Red's actually my favorite color. I'm just like, this year I'm just so overwhelmed. Like, I don't know. All this lovey-dovey stuff, just, I'm not feeling it. So I was like, let me go with blue. <laughs> Tonight was a good night. Great first class back for the week. I'm not sure who else I'm going to be taking classes with. I do want to try to get to um, Jade's class on Friday. But, oh no, 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 I do have some things I need to do, so we'll see, and we'll see. We back, back in LA, back training, and off to another week. But yeah, if you guys have questions about class, performance, I don't know, I don't know, whatever things, y'all got questions, comments, just go ahead and drop it down below. I do read them, I will respond to them. And make sure you follow me on Instagram because that's where I will be posting like mostly, mostly the full videos from the, these classes because I can't share all of them on these vlogs. <laughs> but uh, yeah, thank you guys for watching. I will talk to you later. Hey guys, I'm coming to you from home today. I'm not taking classes and I'm supposed to go to the gym, but I really need to get like some work done and my meal prepped and all of that stuff. I prepped on what, Monday, whatever. I made some meals for like lunch and all that, but it's now time. I have lunch for tomorrow, but now I need to make for the rest of the week. Um, Cause I do it every about three days or so depending on what kind of food I'm making. And I'm in the middle of Bible study <laughs> at the same time. Um, but yeah, I had just a lot of stuff I needed to get done. So I was like, okay. But I know I never really show you guys 
um, more of like my day to day type of stuff. I'm just usually showing like me always in the car on the way to class, from class, what, whatnot. So I want to kind of show you something else um, because there's a lot that goes into dance outside of the dance class um, space. It is so important for dancers to take care of your body. I know when most people see me, they see a plus size girl or whatnot, thick girl. And yeah, that may be so, but at the same time, um, I still try to eat healthy. I still try to exercise frequently. So what goes into your body is a large representation, has an impact on how you perform. And I firmly like believe that because when I'm like on top of my regimen every single day, I feel amazing when I'm in class. I feel like my body moves the way that I want it to move. I feel um, like I have a lot of energy, all that type of stuff. When I like the way I look, um, I feel like I dance better too. So that's what we're doing here today, um, meal prepping. And today I'm making chicken. I have this in the freezer already, got it out and cleaned it. So now I'm just going to like season it and pop it in the oven. So yeah, I thought I would share with you guys, you know, one of the meals that I make. And I actually just, as you probably know, if you've been watching these videos, um, I just came off the Daniel fast. So this is like one of the first real like meat meal preps that I'm going to be making. And I pretty much only eat like chicken fish and um, turkey. I don't eat a lot of red meat. I try to stay away from carbs. So yeah, let's make this chicken. My round, you might be anxious from it. Be like, what you mean you see that? Uh, uh, listen, I got a whole testimony, y'all. Y'all about to have the recipe because it's 
bomb. What we do is put some honey, um, just natural honey. Um, I try to get like local honey that's not filled with a bunch of extra additives or anything. Pour your sriracha. Pour my sriracha in here. I pour a lot because I like it spicy. You can just put it to how you want it. And then you're gonna put your soy sauce in there. I kind of put a lot of soy sauce just because I like it to like really absorb into it. I'm gonna get a spoon. It's gonna mix it all together. Um, in the past, I have added mayo to it, but I typically don't like it like baked. Um, I like it like it's just like a dipping sauce or like a seasoning salad sauce. So I'm not gonna add mayo. And yeah, y'all just a super sauce code. Seriously, it's really good, so you should try it. Let me show you what the um, let me show you what the meal preps look like. Hey, hey, you guys! So it's been a few days. Um, forget where I left off with y'all, but I think maybe I was meal prepping. I want to say. Um, but yeah, it's Friday now. I am on my way to Cameron Lee's class. And I'm so nervous because, first of all, Cameron Lee's class is always a push for me. It's, um, a challenge. It's a much needed challenge. Yeah, nevertheless, it's always a push. And... I haven't really been training training like that outside of heels so kind of nervous and then to top it all off <laughs> he announces that there's going to be casting agents continue on violent there at his class so it's like yeah no pressure <laughs> um but on the flip side, I am also really excited about that. You know, whether anything happens from that or not, um, just to have the opportunity and the experience, because it's like, that's what we moved out here for. So, um, yeah, wish me luck. You can tell, like, <laughs> my energy changes when I get nervous, so. I'm glad today I'm actually early and not just on time, but a bitch is early. So um, I'm gonna park and do my little woosah. 
I'm gonna call it my car mirror magic. <laughs> so I can decompress and like prepare my mind mentally for class. Um, so yeah, I really need that today because it's a lot of pressure. It's a lot of pressure. But I'm really just gonna focus on trying to go in there with the attitude of like, it's just class and I'm just being me. So, yeah. I know it's about to be packed. I know who it's about to be packed. He said it's sold out. So, and 88 is really not that big. Like, I think the studio we were in the last time at T. Millie, I think that studio is much bigger than 88. So, y'all know how I feel. So I'm distracted. It's like a lot going on over here. I'm like, what the heck is happening? Um, Y'all know how I feel about packed classes, like having no space. So, yeah. And I haven't had any time today to go and get like a fit together. So I'm wearing just like some stuff I've already worn before Take the next and I feel like you know I feel like I never have I don't know I just need to go like Take the next left. I just need to go like dance shopping because I have not been dance shopping in a cool minute and I've just kind of been like putting pieces here and there together and I'm like I need a look like a whole look so I'm trying to figure out what that looks gonna be let me know some suggestions in the comments like some things I should buy some pieces that'll like pop stand out I feel like I need color and I need to avoid black because I always wear black like of course as dancers we have black because you have to wear black for a lot of classes a lot of occasions but I feel like I need something else besides black like when I went to class the other day and I wore blue it was like oh that's cute that looks cute that pops on camera you know something to stand out so let me know what you guys think below and yeah I will update y'all after class and let you know how it went so yeah I'm here and I will talk with y'all later yeah, I had to walk back to the car. There was still stuff in there, but I had to get my dance resume. Because I was like, how do you not bring that? This is a perfect opportunity. So, ran back to my car real quick to go get it. But the class before us isn't even done yet, so I got time. But yeah, make sure you have your resume if you're going to something like this. so tired jeez it's 11 11 15 class was wild <laughs> oh man i i had a hard time i had a hard time because i just can't i just can't um as an older dancer it's really a lot <laughs> being in a room full of young people and not even just because of the talent wise, their personalities are just a lot. Like they do a lot, a lot, a lot. And it's like, why are y'all so extra? Number one, the class was packed. Like when we did warm ups and stretching, there was no room for anybody to stretch all the way. Like it just it was way too crowded way too overly sold out they could have made it at a cap like that was ridiculous and i know it's just because just because there was an agency there but it's like come on y'all <laughs> it's very frustrating um for me especially because i like to have space and I like to be able to breathe my own air, not other people's air. And you know, it's like COVID is still a thing. So maybe let's have some space, you know. But I get it. I get it. 
you want to give as many people the opportunity however um for myself it's just a lot so i'm glad that i did my little um i'm glad i did my little woosa moment before class because had i just walked in there i would have been real irritated and then you can't see nothing you got people talking people <laughs> hitting you in your side it just Ooh, it was too, they needed a different venue for it for sure um and yeah it was just a lot however it was on Vineland Avenue for one mile it was a really great experience um the choreography Cameron had is on point like his musicality is a whole different level and um I love the choices in the movement style for me, I just, I can't get into it when I can't practice it full out and seeing clearly what the movements are. Even like when I would move closer, it's like there's still people in the way I can't see what his feet are doing. And y'all know I, I be tripping over my feet. Like when there's a lot of uh, footwork, it gets me. So I have to see it, I have to practice it. So I struggled with that. I think it wasn't until we started running groups that I actually started having the choreo down in certain parts and then other parts were just way too freaking fast like oh yeah I need I need to be training like all the time in these styles but it's so hard because I want to do classes I enjoy because I don't want to get to the point where I don't like dancing because I want to train but at the same time it's like I need the challenges so this one definitely provided a lot of challenges and whenever Cameron's teaching like I'm gonna make an effort to because I was gonna take a whole different class today and then Cameron said he's teaching and I'm like okay I'm there so yeah whenever he's teaching i'm gonna make an effort to um make sure i'm in his classes yeah it was a very cool experience especially because majority of the class were not signed dancers and the amount of people that were already signed was like so small compared to the big chunk of the class so hopefully the people that um were selected to go out and perform hopefully they end up getting signed you know because that would be really dope for this opportunity to turn into something like that Take for your them. Next left on the Riverside Drive. Um, and then uh, after class I went up to them and gave them my resume and asked them some questions about you know like what what they're looking for when they're um, when they're going over people's submissions and their resumes and all that stuff and basically they want people that are going to stand out they want people that are not just going to look like everybody else who is an already good dancer but it's like what is it that boom that extra little that you have you know and so that makes it very clear for me like it helps me to understand like okay i need to push more i need to do more and like stop just skating on the surface and like push yourself brianne and i think why i struggle with it is because i come from like a different time and a different background and um my personality is my personality is not like all of that you know so for me it's like coming out of that when when people see me in Lady Leto's like literally that's a different um different character like a different part of me and that doesn't really come out as much when I'm not in heels so that's the thing because I really like I was feeling the choreo but I really wanted to put my heels on and I brought them and I probably should have 
because that was one of the things that the um, Kira said when you know when you're taking like the hip hop classes and all this other stuff is to like take your heels in those classes and practice doing that stuff in your heels but my thing is I already do everything in heels so I want the challenge of the versatility and not doing it in heels so <laughs> it's like a uh, it's like a challenge for me either way it goes it was just different <laughs> it was just different I I get irritated very easily being in class sometimes because again a lot of these people dancers I don't want to say kids but a lot of them are young they're like barely 20 early 20s you know like they're super young and it's like okay you're doing the most like yes you're going off in your freestyle and you're killing it but they're literally like swarming up to the people that were there watching in their face like yo chill <laughs> you know I get that they're they're hungry for it but it's like they'll still see you they're still getting like you're killing it they're still gonna see you you didn't have to do all that I don't know maybe it, maybe the maybe the same for me I don't know <laughs> I don't know but yeah I, I think there's a way to get the message across without having to do all of the most you know doesn't take away from their talent like it doesn't take away from their talent I'm not saying that at all I'm just saying like it's a lot it's a lot um but it, it gave me a good idea of like where I need to push and what I need to focus on and all of that and then I was able to give them you know my resume whether they read it or not <laughs> Shoot, you have it. You're going to have to look at it before you throw it in the trash or on your way home or something. I don't know. So overall, it was a learning lesson for me. It was, um, it was fun. It was challenging. And um, I am glad I had the opportunity to have the experience. And I for sure... I'm going to keep taking class with Cameron. I really want to take his mentorship, but I need, like, the time to be able to commit to that. Right now, with, like, my work schedule and stuff, I just don't know that I can commit to that. So that's the next area that I'm trying to work on because I really want to um, be able to dance more. That's mostly why a lot of the dancers, um, they don't have jobs. <laughs> because you have to train, you have to rehearse, you know, like connecting with other people, all of that stuff. A lot of the technical classes that I need and I want to take, they're like during the daytime, like 12 o'clock, 2 o'clock, 3, like who, who is? is getting to these classes at that time like you don't you can't have a job or you have to be able to like work for yourself or something to be in class at those times because people with a nine to five it's not you and on the weekends there really don't be that you know classes like that there are some but not as often sweated it out a little bit and I don't know if it's from like cheering or what but my throat is kind of like sore and I didn't even do as much yelling as I normally do just because it was already a lot going on it was like overstimulation I don't know are there any 
I'm still trying to wrap my mind around it because there was another gentleman in there who was much older, like clearly, clearly in his like 50s, you know, in the room dancing. So is it just me or like older people who dance still? Do you notice like the the way people are in class? It's is it irritating to you guys too? Like is it just a lot? Cuz I feel like it's a whole lot. Like they just are doing 6000. I don't know. I'm tired, y'all. I'm rambling now. <laughs> no point. Um I had a good time. They lose a you know, lot the, of hair. The bigger the turkey, the bigger the, the alpha status. Oh, so this must be an alpha. Yep, that's the one in charge. Over here. Oh yeah, that's definitely it. This is a female. Yeah, that's a female right there. In the ropes course. Goats, goats, can, uh, goats love climbing. Let's just say that, goats love climbing. Valentine's Day guys I have not been on here <laughs> talking to y'all for a few days yeah I ended up getting sick um, so yeah it's Valentine's out here selling flowers I'm glad glad that they're buying flowers from like local people because you know it's like they've been out here all day trying to make money and we can easily buy from the stores but it's so nice to just help locals that live here that are trying to make ends meet I ain't got nobody to buy flowers for so but yeah I did end up getting sick over the weekend so that was a bummer um I didn't film at all I was really really sick thankfully it wasn't you know the vid but um oh my gosh their flowers are cool he said he's done he ain't buying no more flowers i was just talking and was not recording so i guess something's going around that you know aside from covid 
because there's a couple other people at work that were sick too and some clients of ours as well so yeah stay healthy I think when I was doing the juice um, fast I think that was really really helping because I was putting in a lot of good nutrients in my body a lot of um, anti-inflammatory all that goodness so I might go back to that probably uh, next week or I don't know maybe later this week depending on how much time I have but yeah um, ever since I've been eating meat again my body does feel a whole lot different and it does not like it so I really enjoyed not eating meat so I might incorporate it not completely I might you know just go back to like pescatarian but um, I think I might in include like you know maybe one day out the week where I don't eat meat at all so which to me that's not a big deal because I'm not like a meat meat person like that I love vegetables but yeah um, so I haven't taken any classes um, today's Valentine's Day and I'm not gonna take any classes especially now that it's raining there was one that was tonight but I just don't want to drive in the rain and I'm still not feeling a hundred percent so um, yeah I think I'm just gonna go home and cook dinner for myself and watch a good movie and call it a night um, which is good you know I feel like there's a need to have balance between dance life and like your actual life because although dance is a part of your life it's like there's so many other things outside of dance that you like so many other things that you need to do for yourself and so for me um, I feel like this is a good time for me to kind of relax and you know have that personal time for myself I am not a person who watches TV every day I am always on the go I'm always working on something you know so to sit down and watch a movie is like a big deal for me it's like whoa we are relaxing so yeah especially if I get to watch it by myself even happier <laughs> even happier there's just something I love about watching movies by myself whether if I go to the movies or if I'm at home but yeah so that's pretty much gonna be my night I don't know if I'm gonna do any more vlogging this week because I don't anticipate taking any other classes but if I do y'all will be the first to know um, my daughter is going to be visiting this weekend, so I'll po probably vlog then just because, you know, she's here and we'll actually be doing something. But for the most part, I'm just going to be gymming it and staying home. So, yeah, that is my Valentine's Day. Y'all have a good night. Wish you lots of love. morning it's Friday and I'm on my way to the airport to go pick up my daughter I'm so happy <laughs> I'm so happy she's coming I'm still kind of getting over this cold it's pretty much gone it's just the cough that's still lingering um, thankfully it wasn't you know but um, yeah I'm tired <laughs> I uh, went to the gym last night to dance because I just was feeling it. So that was good. I had a nice little dance session. And um, I got home late. So I woke up this morning because I had to, you know, get everything ready for her. But I, you know, didn't realize, like, Six o'clock comes around real quick. One thousand feet. Turn left onto the I-10 ramp to San Bernardino. The poor girl. <laughs> the poor girl was so tired though that she made the plane late because she was knocked the heck out um, on the plane. They needed her to turn left onto the I-10 ramp. They needed her to lift up her seat, and I guess she was 
so asleep that she couldn't wake up to do that. So it took him like an extra 20 minutes to wake her up. So thankfully her flight is a little bit delayed. So I'm going to be like right on time. I had time to get myself ready to, but yeah, so I don't know what we're going to do today. Um, probably get some breakfast and see what else is going on. But I know she's exhausted. She just came back from camp too. So she hasn't even had like a day to rest. So I'm sure she's not gonna wanna do too much today. Hi. Alright, the kids got chapstick now. But it's not settled in yet. <laughs> you happy to be back here? Mm -hmm. Did you have fun at camp? It was alright. You don't like nature, huh? I didn't like the hiking. <laughs> oh, because I made you hike. You never liked going hiking with me either, huh? How many of these do you have? Like five. So you're like a professional now? She picked out. Show me the ones that you. Okay. So first, I got this. Wait, which one is it? Which one is it? This one. Okay. First, I got this one. This one is like this. This shirt with these pants. Mm hmm. And then, uh, these pants. Mm hmm. Let me show you. This shirt. And it has like opening on the back. Oh, that's cute. And then. Okay, let's see what it looks like. Alright, so here is one of the outfits. This is the shirt. And I think it's super cute. So, I like the top because it's very stretchy. Um, you can wear a bra with it. I like it. It looks like casual workwear. Um, but then you could also dress it up for the gym too. So I think that'd be really cute. And then the the pants that she picked out for me didn't actually fit and they don't have my size. So that's why I have my work pants on. <laughs> so this is the next top. So it's like a one strap bra top. I like it, super cute. This one's in um, 2x I had to go up the size because it was like squeezing me in so yeah it's not that much support on this side so definitely not something for like high intensity workout and yeah same thing with the pants I just have it with my work pants on which is still kind of looks cute I like it like that and yeah same look from the back and then here is the last one that she picked out for me, which is super cute. I really like it. Let me show you the back. So yeah, again, this is paired with my work pants. So I think it's, Actually, I would probably wear it to work, but you know, 
be comfy and casual. Yeah. Good picks, kid. What are you doing? Step on the cracks. Oh gosh, she's trying not to step on the cracks. It's a wrap for us here at Victoria Garden. Layla got her Zara, Zara fit. I got one pair of pants because all the other ones were old. One pair of pants, ooh. And we, we did some TikToks. <laughs> we'll be posting them on my account soon. Um, and then we also went to this gym, well it's my gym, but here at Victoria Gardens, and I wanted to do a tour so I could show Layla the new gym, but we got kicked out because she ain't 18, and apparently you can't do a tour if you're and under you know what the, 18. you know what they said? They said, oh you can go, but just, just leave her outside. <laughs> yeah, they wanted me to leave her outside, like, excuse me? <laughs> Crazy. Somebody wanted in and out. So here we are, 11 o'clock at in and out. We are leaving the brunch. We just had brunch at, what was it called? Yard something? I don't know, over here in LA. And we're gonna get ready to go to Knott's Berry Farm now. But we gotta change out these clothes. Thank you.